Video games, good, bad, neither, or both. By Nehemiah Oma. There's a stereotype about gamers that they are people at home that don't do their homework or ignore all their tasks and duties. This isn't the case. Some skills in life are deliberately encouraged in video games. Video gamers tend to be faster when it comes to problem solving when rules are applied. Gaming is being monitored by parents to avoid something horrible from happening to your kids. And playing video games can keep criminals in the real world from stopping them to harm real people. Video games are helpful for you. First, gamers have much better problem solving skills and are typically more proficient at discovering something. This topic has been addressed by Pulitzer Prize winning writers for TheGuardian.com, an online news source. In 2011, people playing Folded, an online puzzle game about protein folding, resolved the structure of an enzyme that caused an AIDS-like disease in monkeys. Researchers had been working on the problem for 13 years. The gamers had solved it in three weeks. The gamers had solved the problem that the researchers had spent multiple years on. Do you really think that it's a coincidence that the people who play the game about proteins could just figure out the enzyme structures in three weeks, three weeks versus the 13 years researchers spent not completely understanding it? This isn't the only case. People playing Planet Hunters found a curious planet with four stars in its system. And to date, they discovered 40 planets that could potentially support life, all of which had been previously missed by professional astronomers. Gamers 2, Researcher 0. Are games helping people understand things better than researchers? Games are also helping people to discover things. Also, Eyewire, Untangle Puzzle in Unearth Neurons. Help scientists discover how the brain is locked. You're given a queue of tangled nerves from which you have to tease out the shape of individual nerves and build up their three-dimensional structure. Score points by tracing well in unearthing neurons. So, are you still thinking that gamers don't have the innate ability to smoke out something? Or are they really the solution to most problems? Just saying, they're figuring out how the secrets of the human mind, the brain. Secondly, Gaming is being monitored by parents to prevent bad things from happening to their kids. A writer from the ESA argues, 85% of parents with children who play video games are aware of the ESRB ratings. They know what their child is playing and can allow or not allow their child to play certain games because they know what their child is playing. 73% of parents regularly check a game's rating before making a purchase. The parents decide if their t children can and will play a game because they know what their child their children are playing. 83% of parents place time limits on video game play. They monitor it well by making sure that their child doesn't completely get addicted into something and they can rest and do other things, such as homework. Lastly, video games can help prevent criminals from committing crimes. A writer for TechTive.com states, according to Levin, potential criminals aren't committing crimes because they're spending so much time playing violent video games. So they're stuck at home playing violent video games instead of going to the real world and killing real, living people. That's probably good. If criminals were to stop playing video games, the crime rate would increase. According to FBI statistics, while there's a slight uptick in violent crime in 2012 to over 2011, 0.7%, 2012 still managed to have 12.9% fewer violent crimes than 20, 2008. The violent crimes went down from 2008 to 2012, 12, as gaming became more and more popular. Is it a coincidence? Furthermore, a recent study from the Social Science Research Network applied the acts of violent crimes against the sales of big console games on a week-by-week -week basis between 2005 and 2008. The researchers concluded that within the scope of this limited study, the release of major vi video games, particularly violent video games, led to a downtick. Again, violent video game sales increase, while crime rate decreases. Some people say that video games make people more violent. A writer for Forbes says, It's kind of hard not to make a connection between games and the Navy Yard shooting when you hear the shooter's friend saying that he would watch on a life-size screen these violent video games for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. But what they don't mention is what else he did at home, so just, as, just the part involving video games. What if he was reading a violent book, and that's what caused him to shoot people? But what about a violent movie? Also, violent crime has gone down as violent video games become more popular, as proven by FBI statistics. I used to think that violent video games were bad for you, or video games in general. But since I've seen some evidence that proves otherwise, I think video games are good for you. My friends and I play video games, and we're not failing any classes at school. I know, I know. 
Many people say that video games are bad because you get more easily distracted. But there are many benefits that come from gamers and games themselves. Video gamers tend to be faster when it comes to problem solving. Also, criminals in the real world wouldn't be killing as many people, and gaming wouldn't be monitored by parents. When it comes to discovering, when it comes to getting distracted and discovering habitable planets, I think getting distracted is a tiny bit less important. Video games are extremely helpful. They help you prevent you from doing things you aren't supposed to do. Do you think that games are helpful? I do.